On this James the Bike Guy, we're checking out one of the most affordable full suspension mountain bikes you can get from a quality manufacturer. A bike that's got an aluminum frame, 130 millimeters of front suspension, and some pretty neat features to make it value oriented. So we're gonna go into this bike, we'll talk about all the features and designs, and then we'll find out exactly what it weighs. So if this kind of thing is interesting to you, be sure to sit back and enjoy the video and hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this in the future. The Giant Stance is in Giant's lineup of full suspension mountain bikes, and it makes up the most affordable variant of their full suspension trail bikes. And a few things to mention here. So when being affordable, most full suspension mountain bikes are in that 2,500 to 3,000 plus range. And this bike is pretty neat because they're specking it and getting it set up to be able to come in below $2,000 in the Stance 2 version and the version we're looking at here, the Stance 1, is a bit above $2,000. And that's just a, an area that's pretty underserved by most brands because it's hard to create a bike in that price point that's gonna deliver a good quality riding experience. And Giant being an OEM for a lot of different brands manufacturing them as well as doing their own in-house design has been able to create this bike and fill that niche. So when thinking about where you'd ride this bike, it's 130 millimeters of front suspension and 120 in the rear, which means that this bike's gonna be set up for a rider that's looking to do light to medium, you know, real mountain biking and having a bike that's gonna be able to grow with them before they jump up to their next full suspension bike. The Giant Stance is based off of this aluminum frame. They call it their ALU XX grade aluminum frame. And what's neat about it is it's gonna have hydroform tubing. So you can see the tubes are all of kind of unique shapes. You've got a inch and an eighth to inch and a half tapered head tube, a press fit bottom bracket for the crank set, and then their neat flex point suspension design. And this is essentially a modified single pivot suspension. And basically what they're running here is the single pivot is just up and above the crank set, which also ties in the eyelid of the shock. But that high pivot design typically allows for a single pivot design like this to have a bit more anti-squat. And then as it pedals through, you've got this rocker link here to help with the progression of the shock. So this is gonna be a more basic suspension design, but it's tried and true. They've been using this type of suspension in all sorts of brands and types of bikes. And the flex point is essentially what they're calling their specific design on it. Along with that suspension, the front triangle is gonna have internal cable routing. It'll have a spot to be able to mount a water bottle on the frame, which is nice to see. You've also got a mount for a chain guide to drop down. And in the back end, this will be a little controversial, but it's actually running quick release. So this is quick release boost 141 to go along with the boost 15 by 110 up front. But uh, it's interesting to see a full suspension mountain bike in, without a through axle in the back of the bike. The suspension controlling the frame is gonna be a RockShock Recon Silver RL. The Recon Silver is a 32 millimeter stanchion fork. It's gonna be boost 15 by 110 up front and we're gonna have a nice progressive damper here. So all the way open is gonna allow the most free movement of the suspension. And it's gonna have some detents that'll click down all the way to locked out, meaning you can make the front end pretty much rigid, which allows it to be much more efficient on a long climb. And just with a flick of that, uh, that lever, you can adjust this on the fly. And on the other side, this is gonna be air adjustable. So air adjustment is a major thing on these mountain bikes because you can dial it in just with an air pump to set it up to your exact weight and how you like the bike to feel. So it allows some customization of the fork out of the box. And then out back, it's also running a RockShox rear shock. This is the Monarch R. This is gonna be an air adjustable shock as well. We're not gonna have a lockout on this, but you do have rebound adjust. And what that does is it allows you to control just how fast it comes back, air adjustment for the compression of it. Neat thing to mention when you're setting up sag, which is basically the compression you need just when your weight's on the bike, it does have the gradients on here, which is gonna make setup much, much easier. Now, geometry-wise, this sits right in the intermediate level of aggressiveness. So it's running a 67.5 degree head tube angle, which is right in that medium range. You've got a seat tube angle of 75 degrees, which is quite steep, in fact. 
and then you've got a chain stay length of 438 millimeters and 438 millimeters is pretty respectable for a tight rear end to allow the bike to be pretty playful and have the front end very manageable to turn around and that 67 and a half degree head tube angle while might not be as slack as some of the newest bikes that are coming out here for the type of terrain and trails that you should be taking this bike on it dials in just right cockpit components on the bike are pretty standard with a giant connect 31.8 aluminum handlebar nice and wide to it and then it's coming down to this giant aluminum stem so 31.8 refers to the bar clamp diameter this is a standard bar clamp size some of the newer bikes are 35 millimeters but uh, you've got a nice width to this handlebar you've got some waffle style grips you can see here they've got some good good traction to them although not lock on and then out back be running the giant romero saddle mounted up on a giant contact switch dropper post this dropper post is a 30.9 size and it's going to have a one by style lever so you see this thumb there thumb button there that's so that when you're riding the bike you can have your thumb on almost like a shifter press the button and it's going to allow the dropper post to raise and then put your body weight on it press the button again and it'll drop that dropper post right back down and the reason we care about a dropper post is with it down it's easier to get your weight a bit further back on the bike and be able to descend quite a bit better and then just with a flick of that thumb button you can raise it back up into a good pedaling position to be able to climb up hills The drivetrain on the Giant Stance 1 is going to be an Eagle 1x drivetrain. So 1x meaning we've got a single ring up front, so just one ring up front, and then we're going to have 12 speeds out back. So the 12 speeds are going to allow for a really wide range of gearing. So the smallest cog that it's on right now you can see is an 11 tooth all the way up to a 50 tooth. So that's nearly the same range as a traditional 2x9 setup, but now with quite a bit less shifting. And the derailleur on the back is the SRAM SX derailleur. The SX derailleur is the entry level version into their Eagle 12 speed lineup. It's got a clutch mechanism on it to help control the chain. And then up front, the SRAM SX crank set is going to be an aluminum armed crank with a direct mount narrow wide chain ring. So if you check this out, it's got the Eagle narrow wide. You see how you've got wider teeth and narrower. That matches up with the profile of the chain as you go through going wide and narrow. Now this crank is pressed in through a press fit dub bottom bracket. To slow the bike down we've got the Shimano MT200 brakes. This is the 201 lever which has the longer lever reach and then it's grabbing on to a six bolt rotor with a hydraulic caliper on the front and the rear. Wheels and tires on this bike might be one of the places that I'm most impressed with this for the money. This is running a tubeless ready wheel and tire combination right out of the box. And in fact, it's got Giant's AM29 rims. So these wheels are going to be a 30 millimeter wide internal width rim. It's got tubeless ready capability, made it up to the Giant Tracker performance hub up front. This is a 15 by 110 spacing hub and QR141 boost in the rear. And the tires that are running on this bike are a Maxxis Forecaster. So the Maxxis Forecaster is one of my favorite trail tires. And by trail, I mean it's just a little more aggressive than XC, so you can see the knob heights are pretty good, but the, the tire itself is still gonna be pretty fast rolling. I'll have a link up above to my review on these tires, but these are the EXO, so the more durable version of this tire with the tubeless ready capability. So all you need to do is get some sealant and be able to set it up tubeless out of the box. The actual weight of the Giant Stance 29.1 is going to come in and weigh 32 on the nose. Thanks so much for watching this video on the Giant Stance 29.1. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts on this bike down in the comment section below. While you're at it, be sure to hit a thumbs up. It lets me know you enjoyed the video. And definitely don't forget to hit subscribe so that way you can see more videos like this in the future.